So I'm going to quickly go through some of the highlights of the syllabus. It's a little long, so you can um, look at that at your leisure. There will be this video here that you don't get to see right now, but um, just going to highlight it. There's the PDF if you need that. There's the instructor information, office hours, which office hours are for students. I do have both in-person and online office hours. So the online office hours are conducted through Zoom, not through Canvas. So there are directions there on how to access the online office hours. Also, you can make an appointment. Um, there's my email address. Just one thing about my email address. The first letter is an L. My name is Leanne. So it's not an I or a one. It's an L. <laughs> okay. So there's course information. Um, this is an asynchronous online course. So you'll have, it's done by weeks in the modules. So you'll have each week certain videos to watch and assignments to do. Um, most of the weeks, you know, are going to just come. You're going to get into a routine. You'll see the videos. You'll do the assignments. There might be a quiz. There might be an exam. Um, this week is a lot of getting started information like the syllabus and some of those things. Okay. Um, there is a co-requisite option for this course. It is called Math 10 SL, College Algebra for Liberal Arts. Um, so I'm going to try to point to things. We'll see if this works. I'm talking about the co optional co-requisite. So you can take it for a one unit credit or you can take it as a non-credit. If you're taking it as a non-credit, you use the Math 110 SL. Um, if you want the credit, then it's Math 10 SL. They're the same time, same instructor. There are different options, both synchronous and asynchronous. I conduct the synchronous one. Another instructor um, does the asynchronous one. Okay, so then here are the student learning outcomes. Whoops. Um, the mathematics program outcomes. Okay, now course resources. You're going to need to purchase MyLab Math with Pearson eText for College Algebra. This is 8th edition by Blitzer. I'm not sure why it jumped. Sorry about that. I don't know why it jumped like that. I don't do my videos in this format in Canvas. I use another platform, but okay. Um, so you don't have to purchase a hard copy textbook. Your um, access card comes with the e-text. So that's what most students do. It's the cheapest way to do it. Um, you can buy it at the bookstore. There are advantages to doing it that way. You can also buy it directly through um, Pearson. Uh, and there's advantages to doing it that way as well. The only thing I want to say about the text is, or your access card is, Make sure you register through Canvas. That way it will be linked to the gradebook. Okay, so everything is synced for you to run um, my lab through Canvas. So you can see over here on the navigation bar, my lab and mastering. Okay, so you're going to click that when you're wanting to do the homework, or you can access it through modules as well. Okay, and we'll take a little look at that. So there's information on grades, how it's broken down, um, the grading scale. Uh, let's see. Assignments, we have homework, quizzes, we have exams, we have a final exam. Okay. So let me see if I can get to um, a little more information. Uh, the, the instruction comes from the videos that I've made. Um, you can also access more videos in the e-text. Uh, and more resources as well. Uh, let's see. There's also tutors available. Um, they have online tutoring as well. Okay. So the assignments are set up for you. You have a week to complete the assignments. So if the assignments open on the 1st, then they are due on the 8th. Okay. Um, I go Monday to Monday to give you the extra day. Uh, you have another week past that to turn it in as a late assignment. Now, this first week, I have changed the due dates so that you will have two weeks. I, lo I looked at the assignments and I was like, well, it's kind of a lot for the first week. So you're not getting any um, late 
penalty. You're just getting the full two weeks for the first three assignments, okay? If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. So what are the expectations? So for optimal success, we're going to follow these um, rules here. You're going to access the current week under modules. For each section, you watch the videos while actively taking notes. You can use the guided notes that I explain later, or um, you can just take notes on your own paper. A lot of students find the guided notes helpful. You uh, work on the, after you finish, you know, watching the videos, you work on the homework assignment. Um, and it's right there in the modules. You can just click on that to do that. You write down any questions you have or anything you're having problems with so you can get help with those types of problems. And um, you also want to maybe make some extra notes that will be useful to you for your page of notes for the exams. And then you go to the next section, right? There's lots of resources, lots of places to get help. So just reach out and uh, send me an email if you are stuck or need some ideas on how to get some more help. Okay. Make sure you follow the due dates for the first week so you don't get dropped. After that, if there is no contact or no activity in a week, then um, the instructor has the right to drop you. I usually reach out to students. Um, but make sure you keep track of how you're doing in Canvas. It's really easy to get behind. There's quite a few sections. It's not bad, but you just need to stay up with it week to week. Okay. There is an opportunity for extra credit. Students often ask, and those are the Q&A forms. I don't require them, but I do offer extra credit. It's also a place, though, for you to ask questions and get answers. So there's some information on that. Please be polite in the forums. I know many of you probably have had online classes at this point, and so you're used to some of these policies. Uh, these are CMC policies. There's a place for academic support, student services. Again, the tutoring center. Here are the operations, the hours of operation. Um, they've changed. Also, they are, if you've used TASC before, <laughs> that's the tutoring center, but they have moved. They're now in room 112 in quad one. So it's an easier location for students to access. You can make an appointment. They also offer online tutoring, which I believe you have to do by appointment as well. So check that out. Um, the big thing you're going to want to look at is the weekly schedule. So you can see here week one, there's, um, we have to have substantive work for the first week of class. So I don't have control over those due dates. Our substantive work is going to be the syllabus quiz, which is 10 questions. It's pretty easy, and you can use the syllabus um, to take the quiz. We also have a practice exam, which is five questions, and it's just pretty easy, too. <laughs> um, it's just a practice how we're going to submit our exams, so we can get that kind of down, how we're going to do it. And then there's a how to use my lab assignment. This is in my lab. You can access my lab free for two weeks. But then you'll have to have an access code purchased after that. Um, this is a good assignment, so you can kind of get used to how my lab works. Um, I think there are 12 questions. So, you know, those three things, it seems like a lot, but they're pretty short assignments. And then uh, we start in with chapter one for this week one, chapter or sections 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3. I am giving you um, until September 5th to turn in those assignments. Like I said, I didn't want to scare everybody off the first week okay but week two will come so you know don't don't put them off <laughs> jump right in there and get used to it quizzes are usually pretty uh quick they're about 10 questions i'm sorry about five questions and they're usually worth 10 points okay so the schedule goes on until we get to week 16 and that is the week that we have our review and final so that's the syllabus and the schedule. There's a separate page for the schedule um, in modules so that you don't have to scroll through the whole syllabus to um, access the schedule. So welcome. I hope that helps answer some questions. And um, I'm excited to get to know you and help you. And uh, we will have fun doing algebra.